you want me to explain this, Ryan, or did you? What we've done here is to show you our overall rates and our rates for our three funds at which we have a tax levy. And of course, 96 through 201 would have been under the pre-market value evaluation, and so of course that rate looks you know, is in the range of, of uh, 28, 27 to 30 cents. There was that transitioning in 202, and then in 203, the rate started being basically between six and 10 cents. And we've we've mentioned that with your approval, we would not be asking for an increase in the library's bonding. Um, rate. Um, obviously, it's something that we want to keep constant. We explained that we, we will be paying off the Trafalgar bonds at the end of this year. Um, there's there's going to be a slight dip because um, up to this point, I think just like what you were discussing earlier about these sort of stabilization funds, we were uh, in a bond, you were keeping a stabilization of the June payment so that if something were to happen and you weren't able to meet your bond payments, you had that in the fund. Well, with the bonds being paid off, we will be using all of that operating balance. And so where we had anticipated that our collections would be around 1.7 million, it's really just a, like 900,000 to pay off the bonds this year. So what we're proposing is this $2 million bond that would get paid off in a year and it would be right at four cents. Again, uh, that's why Ryan's here. If you have any questions, we know that the market is, uh, we are estimating really conservatively. I'm going to let you answer that question about sure. that my own mind. Well, right now, <clears throat> the market's as they have been, and people have been a little nervous. But within the last few months, it's been pretty stable with uh, GEO municipal bonds, uh, somewhere right around 3%. And actually, there was a bond, a GEO bond, that was issued in Johnson County. I believe it was for the family, uh, child, Children's and Family Services mm -hmm. bonds, and those rates <clears throat> for the two coupons, it was I think about a year, year and a half bond. It was about two and a half to two point seven five. Now, as Bev said, we would want to estimate conservatively, so three percent is around the area that we would think the interest rate would be. But we actually anticipate it being lower than that. So, has that four cents in this point uh, oh eight four seven already? Or on top of that. It, it will be the it will pro, it will probably move the O2 of O9 to O4 so we'll be back in the range of 10 cents which is what we said we would try to keep it at the consistency I do anticipate as we we talked in library capital projects that that rate's going to go down and I um, and I think our operating rate's going to go down as well so I really believe we'll I mean we'll keep it as that steady to 8 to 10 which is what we've had historically in this collection Maybe Ron's in there. I, you said it's going to stay at 0.0847. No, it's going to go to 10. Yeah. It's going to go to range of 10. We're going to increase the rate. Well, and and I can't tell you that definitively because I don't know, having not set the rates for our operating and our and as we had our discussion about capital projects, I I will share it with you because and this will just can muddy the water a little bit further when we talked about capital projects. And we said that we anticipated that that would come in at about a 300,000 difference in what we were projecting. The DLGF, despite what they told me when I was making that presentation, has decided to take all that out of our operating budget instead. 300,000? 387,000. So um, that's, that's why um, I, I anticipate that our operating rate's going to go down. So, you know, we're going to try to keep it at the eight. It will not go more than two. And again, you know, as I said, we're talking two cents. That's basically what we're talking. And it's, and it would have been at 0.038 this year in the, in the rate had we not had that operating balance. So the true rate for collecting the amount of money that we were paying back in debt was, was at 0.0385, I believe. Correct. Um, I don't know if you have any other, you know, specific questions. I've tried to answer some as, as uh, they've come to me. I'm sorry I haven't been able to contact everyone, tried, but I've left the weekend to you and decided not to do that over the weekend. Is there any um, way we could get by without doing this, uh, you know, for, you know, until the economy gets a little bit better? Well, I think that it's, as I've mentioned it to the city, it took me, ten, it took us 10 years to to build the Trafalgar Library. Uh, I don't see this happening overnight. I think it's time that 
again, um, you know, we're not asking for a rate that's unreasonable. It's a rate that the libraries had and established, um, been very, um, I think, fiduciary responsible in moving ahead. And instead of just coming in here and saying we want to build a building and this is what it's going to cost, we're just asking to do the planning. Um, you know, quite like what you were discussing earlier, if we were to come back with a bond for a building, it would go to a referendum as well. <laughs> I got a question. I'm sure. To help me out if I'm a little slow here, but if we raise that, how does that impact us? Well, it, or how does it, it impact the, the overall cap? The, you know, when the circuit saying? breakers come in, it all blends into the hole. So. so everybody gets adjusted accordingly? Is that how it works? Well, every dollar that's collected, regardless of the t civil taxing unit, would allow somebody to reach the cap earlier. In that taxing, so. it would take away from money. In that taxing, yeah. yeah. And yeah. Ryan has some some um, has been doing some studying on that. That might answer your question directly. Well, it actually, it's it's somewhat hard to say too, depending on what's happening with in the rest of the units in the county. Mm -hmm. So some of those are going to go down, mm -hmm. possibly, and some of those would go up. So any real accurate estimate would really have to be done. You have to do some kind of parcel by parcel level study for um, the county specific. Because the LSA estimates you have are um, are based on some portions of those are based are on um, statewide averages. So I what you take from that <clears throat> would depend on how average in for example commercial property you feel that you are to the state averages, how comparable. So you do have it there is the option of doing a Parcel by parcel level analysis for your particular situation. Then we, we we sent out we were going to send out letters. I think Barb and I talked Jan talked about that earlier this evening uh, to try to find out what their rate was going to be. Has any of them come in lower? What we requested was their date of adoption. Not the not the rate. Not no. the rates because a lot of them haven't okay. done rates yet. According to the attorney and civils. And that was the point I was trying to make. I think our overall rate. On our other two. Too simple. Yeah. Okay. It's just a hard question to answer. Yeah. Part of the calculation may be kind of confusing too, and I don't know how it will affect it because your district, your library district, isn't the whole county. It's not absolutely so, the whole county. You're right. So, it's the, the mean, city of Edinburgh, the city of, of Old Greenwood. Yeah. Not yeah. New Greenwood, but Old Greenwood. So you have to take some of them off, and I, I don't, mm -hmm. like you say, it. Parcel by parcel, maybe about the only way you're going to determine that. But in keeping, but in having said that, with a net increase of two cents for this project, the impact would be minimal. Given what's minimal? Yeah. Well, <laughs> given the two cents. For hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> well, well, I, I mean, it would. Pennies. It would have to. You would have to, again. You'd have to do that analysis and see because I, I couldn't give you a number off the top of my head because I'm not familiar with the exact conditions of. Johnson County without having that analysis. And all I've been able to look at is what LSA is saying about, you know, <coughs> what what the impact's gonna be on our operating budget. It doesn't seem to be a, that great, you know. I think again because we have such a wide population that pays pays into the county income count pays for the county library. It's I think we decided it's about ninety percent of the parcels. Is that I don't, know, I don't know that we've done a count, but we think it's around 90% of the parcels are on the library, are within our district. 